found in somebody's garden last night and they kept him in their shed overnight and then took him to the Oh, the fantastic. Um, I had a vehicle stolen yesterday and uh, my four little Jack Russells are in the back. Oh, my God. She was um, involved in a hit and run this morning. Oh, you're joking. No. Every week, more than 2,500 dogs and 3,000 cats go missing. And this can lead to tragedy and heartache for those owners whose pets don't make it back home. The Missing Pets Bureau's mission is to meet this challenge with an increasingly sophisticated range of products and services for the nation's pet owners. Ralph, a four-year-old Springer Spaniel, was stolen 11 months ago, and the owners still feel the heartbreak as if it were yesterday. You know, what gave him the right to take him away? He's not theirs, you know. We managed to reunite Caroline with her stolen terrier, Megan, after he'd been missing for almost four years. If she hadn't been microchipped and hadn't been registered for Missing Pet Bureau, she definitely wouldn't have come back. Because Missing Pet Bureau had my up-to-date details, and no one else did. All pets registered with the Missing Pets Bureau receive a unique identity tag. And when tracing an animal, this is often the vital link. Whilst Lisa was on holiday, her cat Gypsy escaped. Somebody might have found her, but not known who she belonged to. So the Missing Pets Bureau tag was the crucial element. And sometimes the MPB tag does its work even before the owner knows their pet is missing. I usually let Chessie out about half past seven in the morning, because um, she only has a little bladder. So half past seven in the morning, uh, I, let, I let Chessie out, I'll go in the kitchen, make a, make a brew. But one morning, Chessie decided to wander a little further afield. I went to open the door and as I did, the phone rang and it was yourselves. Um, and they said, we found your dog. I'm like, I didn't know she were missing. The MPB tag means that even in the event of a natural disaster, crucial contact numbers are always available. When a flash flood hit Boscastle, Emily's two cocker spaniels were trapped. The helicopters were circling all the houses to find survivors. They airlifted them out to the other side where a police officer um, tied them to a lamppost. If we hadn't got the numbers, we wouldn't have any dogs. If you just have the missing Pets Bureau symbol and the telephone number, they have all your family numbers. They know where you live, they know where your mum lives, your dad lives, so that they could always get hold of somebody. When tracking pets down, we operate a mass mail shot sending the pet's photo and details to all relevant vets, rescue centres, animal charities and police forces. Whilst spearheading the search for pets, the MPB makes sure that all personal details remain confidential. On both the tag and any posters appealing for help, it's our 24-hour contact number which is used to coordinate all the information received. It's much better from the point of view I don't have to put my own personal mobile on it. The fact that somebody has to ring in uh, I might be ringing at an unusual time at night. It means I'm not getting the call at that particular time and also I don't have to hand out my number to the general public. Our Pet Back Med Alert members also receive a free dog DNA kit which is conclusive proof of the dog's identity when supplied with a properly completed Missing Pets Bureau witness certificate. As Michelle realised when she went to collect her missing dog Iggy from Manchester Dog's home. I was crying my eyes out. I was so happy. Um, but then the tears sort of got even worse because they turned around and said, well, you've got to prove he's your dog now. I'd recommend them get the DNA test and then they haven't got the hassle of having to go back home to get the photographs. And even if they haven't got any photographs, they've then got the proof that it is their dog. And it's just one phone call to the Missing Pets Bureau to say, yes, we've got the DNA, we can send it through to you, whatever. MedAlert members can also fill in a form to pre-authorise emergency treatment if they can't be contacted. For Sharon, whose Staffordshire Bull Terrier ran into the path of a speeding car, this proved to be a lifesaver. I'm no doubt she would have got taken to the vet and she is microchipped, but the delay could have been two or three hours, I suppose, and then finding me, I would have been distraught by them. But as it happened, the whole thing was sort of less than half an hour from escape to, to getting her to the vet. Whether it takes minutes or years, using all our expertise and experience and our network of contacts, the Missing Pets Bureau works tirelessly day and night for many happy returns. The Missing Pets Bureau, safeguarding pets, supporting owners every day of the year.